General Patton once said that you first have to understand the enemy in order to properly fight the enemy. What is going on everyone? Welcome to another very exciting episode right here on the MI Gardener channel. So like I said in the beginning, in order to properly fight the enemy, you first have to understand the enemy. And so no, we're not going to war, but we are going to war in the garden. And we're going to war against pests and diseases. And in order to properly fight them, we have to first understand them and understand how to classify them. You see, for pests and diseases, there are two categories that they can fit in. They are either systemic or endemic. Systemic meaning that they are able to be spread and transmitted and they're widespread. Endemic means that they are isolated to a specific location. So when you look at any type of pest or disease, they can all fall into these two categories. If you don't properly classify a disease or a pest, it is very, if not impossible, to actually properly treat the pest or disease. So for instance, if you're looking at tomato blight, tomato blight is a fungus that is found on the surface of a leaf. But the fact that it is a fungus means that it can spread via spores. The spores can spread through the air and transfer from plant to plant. That means that it is widespread. It is systemic. So you cannot treat that fungus endemically. You have to treat it systemically. You have to match the treatment to the type of, uh, to the type of uh, pest or disease that it is. If you were to treat it endemically, an example of endemically would be uh, that you know you have uh, wilt. Wilt is systemic throughout the plant, but the fact that it cannot be spread from plant to plant means it is isolated to only one plant. So this could be bacterial wilt. This could be fusarium wilt. This could be things like uh, damping off. This could even be things like... Uh, it could be things like blossom end rot, for instance, okay? These issues are not spread from, from plant to plant. These are endemic issues. If you look at pests like nematodes, nematodes affect endemically just the root system of the plant, okay? Root rot nematodes only affect the singular root system of a plant, but the fact that they are found throughout the soil and they can be spread from soil to soil. If you move your soil from one bed that is infected with root rot nematodes into another bed with root rot nematodes, they will then spread, meaning they are systemic. You have to treat them systemically. They are not isolated to a specific location. And so just because they affect a specific location does not mean they are endemic in nature. And I really want you guys to understand that. I know this is a big concept, but it is so critical because I see so many people that misdiagnose or, or misidentify a pest or disease and therefore they, uh, they cannot actually control the problem properly. You know, I see so many people that they say when your tomato plant gets blight, stick a copper penny inside of the stem because uh, the copper penny will help to increase the immune system of the tomato plant. It's not true whatsoever because that is an endemic solution to a, uh, to a systemic problem. If you look at things like powdery mildew, powdery mildew cannot be fed or cannot be fixed by feeding the plant uh, calcium in the in the base of the plant. I see I've actually seen people take say take a syringe and inject milk into the stem of the uh, of the uh, squash plant or cucumber plant or uh, pumpkin plant or whatever it is tomato plant whatever it has uh, powdery mildew and that the milk will help to uh, alleviate the problem. This is so far from the truth because if you're injecting, well, number one, it's ridiculous to, uh, to say that injecting uh, <laughs> milk into a plant will fix the problem. That's aside the fact. If you're injecting it into a, into a plant, you're injecting it into the vascular system to take it throughout the plant, you are endemically treating a plant when the problem is on the surface of the leaf. It's not within the leaf, it's on the surface of the leaf. Powdery mildew is a fungus just like blight is. It spreads. So in order to properly treat a fungus uh, like blight or powdery mildew, you have to spray it. Because if you spray the surface of the leaf and you spray all the other surrounding plants, you've then taken care of a systemic issue. It's widespread. Um, and so this is how we have to properly classify and understand a pest 
or disease. They can all be broken down into this specific uh, type of category or these two specific types of categories. Now, the final thing I want to get into is the gray area or the kind of confusing area when you intermix terms. Where I'm getting at is mostly with inorganic gardening because this gray area exists when you endemically treat a plant with a systemic treatment. So endemically, meaning you only treat the one plant. This could apply to fruit trees. You know, I might take a systemic fungicide or a systemic pesticide and inject the tree with some type of chemical that goes throughout the vascular system of the tree so that any leaf that is exposed to a pest basically has this pesticide residue inside of the inside of the leaf structure so that if the pest comes and eats it it then dies this is commonly seen with uh, with flowers at the local at our local greenhouse you know they actually have had to put these tags saying that it's been treated with neonicides because honeybees uh, neonicides are a systemic it's a systemic pesticide that's been put inside of the plant and all of the nectar and pollen then has this pesticide found in them. And so this is a, this is a isolated plant that you've injected. So it's not systemic in nature on how you're treating the issue. You're endemically treating each plant by giving them a shot, but you're still treating the systemic issue of the fact that there's a pest that can go from this tree to that tree to that tree to that tree. The fact is that the definition has not changed. It's just that with inorganic options, you can kind of muddy those waters a little bit and say, I'm gonna treat the systemic problem by simply endemically treating this specific plant. It's far different than a spray where I might take a spray, I might take a, an organic pesticide and spray down all my trees. I'm fixing the problem systemically for all of my trees. I'm not selecting a specific tree to, to treat that widespread problem, if you follow what I'm saying. So that's kind of where the gray area comes in is where you kind of mix those two terms up, but the, you know, this, uh, the, the two classifications still hold true if you look at them at their most simple form. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this episode. I know it's a little more complicated, but on this channel, we don't want to just basically touch the surface on concepts because I don't think that necessarily makes a better and more well-rounded gardener. I want you guys to take this information and challenge it down in the comments box below with different things. I think it's so important that as a community, we look at this because I cannot tell you how widespread this is where you have people saying to do one thing and it simply does not treat the problem because the two do not match. You have to match the solution with the problem. And by, t by taking the two and matching them, that is how we find success in the garden with anything. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you learned something new. It is brutally cold out. So I'm going to get inside, warm up, get this video up for you guys. Make sure to throw a like up there. It really helps this channel out. If you have any comments or questions, post them in the comments box below. And if you have not yet subscribed, make sure to do that. I come outside to freeze my buns off for you so that you guys can grow big or go home. I hope you guys enjoyed. And, uh, and I really do hope that you learned something new. As always, I catch you all on the next episode. Grow big or go home.